An earlobe cyst is a common yet often misunderstood condition that can cause discomfort and concern. Many people may notice a small lump forming in their earlobe and wonder what it is, whether it is dangerous, and how to treat it. In this video, we will get to everything you need to know about this condition. Let's begin by what is an earlobe cyst. An earlobe cyst is a small, enclosed sac that develops under the skin of your earlobe. It contains fluid or semi-solid material that feels like a small, firm bump when you touch it. These earlobe cysts can vary significantly in size. In most cases, they might be as small as a pea, but in rare cases, they can grow to the size of a grape or larger if left untreated. However, they typically grow slowly over time and might only become noticeable when they reach a certain size or become infected. The good news here is that most earlobe cysts are harmless and non-cancerous, but they can sometimes become inflamed, painful, or cosmetically bothersome if they are left untreated. Causes of earlobe cysts Most earlobe cysts develop when skin cells that would normally rise to the surface and shed instead move deeper into the skin and multiply. As these cells multiply, they form a sac and secrete keratin, which is a protein that makes up your hair and nails, which creates the substance inside the cyst. So, why does that happen? Well, one of the most common causes is the obstruction of sebaceous glands or hair follicles. When these structures become clogged with oil, dead skin cells, or debris, the normal pathway for secretions becomes blocked. So, instead of releasing their contents onto the skin surface, the glands continue producing material that gets trapped beneath the skin, gradually forming a cyst. Trauma to the earlobe is another significant factor in cyst development. This can come from ear piercings, especially if they become infected or heal improperly. Similarly, wearing heavy earrings that repeatedly pull on the earlobe can cause minor trauma that may lead to cyst formation over time. Hormonal changes can influence oil production in your skin, potentially contributing to the development of cysts. Periods of hormonal fluctuation, such as puberty, pregnancy, or menopause, may coincide with increased cyst formation in some individuals. Poor hygiene practices can sometimes contribute to cyst formation by allowing dead skin cells, oil, and bacteria to accumulate on the skin. This is particularly relevant for people who wear earrings frequently, but don't clean them or their earlobes properly. Finally, certain skin conditions like acne or chronic inflammation may increase the likelihood of developing an earlobe cyst. Symptoms of earlobe cysts The most obvious sign of an earlobe cyst is a small, round bump under the skin of your earlobe. These bumps typically have a smooth surface and clear boundaries. You can usually feel where the cyst ends and normal tissue begins. The size can vary considerably, from a few millimeters to a centimeter or more in diameter. Most earlobe cysts grow slowly over time, sometimes taking months or years to reach a noticeable size. In terms of how they feel, uncomplicated earlobe cysts are usually firm but slightly springy when pressed gently. They generally move freely beneath the skin rather than being fixed to deeper tissues. This mobility is often a distinguishing feature that doctors look for when diagnosing cysts. Under normal circumstances, earlobe cysts aren't particularly painful or tender to the touch, though you might notice them when washing your face or putting on earrings. The skin over an uncomplicated cyst typically looks normal, matching your regular skin color. If you look closely, you might occasionally see a white or yellowish material that can be expressed from this central opening, though trying to squeeze a cyst is generally not recommended. While most earlobe cysts are not dangerous, a cyst that grows rapidly, changes in color, or causes persistent pain should be evaluated by a doctor to rule out other skin conditions or complications. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Symptoms of an infected earlobe cyst When an earlobe cyst becomes infected, the symptoms change noticeably. The area becomes red, swollen, and warm to the touch. You'll likely experience pain or tenderness, especially when pressure is applied to the area. The pain can sometimes be quite severe, causing discomfort when sleeping on that side or wearing certain types of headgear. In advanced infections, you might notice pus draining from the cyst, often accompanied by an unpleasant odor. 
Some people report itching or a feeling of pressure as the cyst grows larger. This can be particularly noticeable when wearing earrings or headphones that press against the affected area. Large cysts can distort the shape of your earlobe, creating cosmetic concerns beyond the cyst itself. In rare cases, very large cysts might even affect how earrings sit on your ear or make it difficult to wear certain styles of earrings altogether. Treatment for Earlobe Cysts If you're dealing with an earlobe cyst, you have several treatment options depending on the size, symptoms, and your personal preferences. Number 1. Watchful Waiting For small cysts that aren't bothering you or growing rapidly, simply monitoring the cyst is often a reasonable approach. Many earlobe cysts resolve on their own over time without treatment. During this time, it's important to avoid irritating the cyst by not wearing earrings that press directly on it, not sleeping on that side if it causes discomfort, and avoiding picking or squeezing the cyst, which can lead to inflammation or infection. This approach works well for people who aren't concerned about the cosmetic appearance of a small cyst and aren't experiencing any discomfort. However, you should still have the cyst evaluated by a doctor initially to confirm the diagnosis, and any changes in size, appearance, or symptoms should prompt a follow-up visit. Number 2. Warm Compresses and Topical Treatments For mildly inflamed or irritated cysts, home care can often provide relief and may sometimes help reduce the size of the cyst. Applying warm, moist compresses to the area for 10 to 15 minutes several times a day improves blood flow to the area, reduces inflammation, and can sometimes help the cyst drain naturally if it has a small opening. Over-the-counter topical treatments containing salicylic acid or tea tree oil applied sparingly to the surface of the cyst may also help reduce inflammation and prevent infection, though these won't eliminate the cyst entirely. Number 3. Incision and drainage. This procedure is typically used for infected or very painful cysts that need immediate relief. After cleaning the area and applying a local anesthetic, your doctor makes a small incision in the cyst and drains the contents, relieving pressure and pain. While this procedure provides quick relief, it doesn't remove the cyst wall, which is the sac that contains the material so the cyst will likely recur over time as the incision heals and the sac fills up again. This approach is best thought of as a temporary solution while waiting for the definitive surgery. Number 4. Surgical Removal This is the definitive treatment for earlobe cysts and the only approach that prevents recurrence. During this minor surgical procedure, the entire cyst, including its wall, is removed through a small incision. The procedure is typically performed under local anesthesia in an outpatient setting by a dermatologist or surgeon. After numbing the area, the doctor makes an incision, carefully dissects the entire cyst sac from the surrounding tissue, and then closes the wound with a few small stitches. Complete removal prevents the cyst from returning because the cells that form and line the cyst are entirely eliminated. The procedure typically takes 30 to 45 minutes, and recovery is usually straightforward with minimal discomfort. You'll need to keep the area dry for a day or two and avoid wearing earrings until healing is complete, typically about two weeks. Number 5. Steroid Injections In cases where the cyst is inflamed but not infected, a doctor may recommend a corticosteroid injection to reduce swelling and discomfort. Steroids help decrease inflammation, and can shrink the cyst without the need for surgical removal. This treatment is particularly useful for individuals who prefer a less invasive approach or who are prone to excessive scarring. However, while steroid injections can reduce the size of the cyst, they do not always eliminate it completely, and the cyst may eventually return. Remember that while earlobe cysts are benign, they rarely resolve completely without treatment. If the appearance bothers you or if the cyst causes discomfort, becomes infected, or grows larger over time, you need to discuss it with a doctor. Most treatments are quick, relatively painless, and provide excellent results with minimal recovery time. Now, we want to hear from you. Have you ever had an earlobe cyst? How did you deal with it and what treatment worked best for you? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.